Hey y'all, out here it's Pigeon Forge Ride Run 2014 and I've got a, a 62 bubble top street ride, street machine, way cool car. Y'all are gonna enjoy it. So let me run Billy down and have him tell us a little bit about it. Billy, how are you, brother? I'm fine, how are you? Not too bad, tell me a little bit about your hot rod. Well, it's a 62 Bel Air bubble top and they were supposedly on about 2,000 to 10,000 of these things made, not sure how many. It's got a 632 cubic inch big block Chevrolet motor. Holy cow, how many horses is that? Uh, 1,015 horsepower on pump gas. Naturally aspirated? Yes, sir. No kind of wind being blown in there? Nope. Holy smokes, how long have you had it done? Three years next month, October. Did you do the work yourself? Yes, sir. Do you have a shop or is this just a hobby? No, I got a shop. I've built a few cars. What's the name of it? I don't have a name. I just run oh. it in my backyard. <laughs> I got you. Hey, you one of them old school hot riders? Yeah. Man, that thing is beautiful, man. What's that blue you use? Is that off of that? No, that's actually a Toyota color. It's uh, about a 2010 Toyota Tundra. It's a color oh, I know called it. Speedway yeah, yeah, yeah. Blue. I know it. And is that motor, is that like, oh, was that a custom built motor? I mean, yes. yeah. It's who, just, who, I just bought pieces and built it. I got you. And what about the block? What kind of block is that? Dark block. Dark block. Always. You got all the good parts on it. It's got all NASCAR suspension, front and rear, steering box, sway bars, idler arms, tie rods. Now when you say NASCAR, is that like right out of Richard Childress' shop or how's that, how do you get Basically that Basically just like a NASCAR. Yeah. I used to work in NASCAR oh, racing. Oh, okay. So you're saying you got some advantages a common man may not. Mm, well, most people, you can buy this stuff if you know how to get a hold of it. Right, man, look at underneath. Fold, or it's got a flat floor in it and everything, eh? Yeah, it's yeah. got a, it's been channeled down over a homemade uh, two by four chassis, custom built chassis. Now that's two by four metal, guys. Don't think two by four wood. Yeah, it's, right. not, it's metal. <laughs> NASCAR exhaust. Man, who did your interior? A guy named Ray Hester, Les Lexington, North Carolina. Man, I love them back seats, right? Yep. That is cool. And this bar just pops right out. Right. If you want to get back there, you just drop this pin, let it down, get back. And then it's like a roller coaster, right? You got that bar right there. Exactly. <laughs> I bet it right feels like a roller coaster, too. Nobody's been back there but my grandkids. Wow. Get this bar back there. It comes apart easier and it goes back. Well, I just gotta get to it. Man, oh wow. What kind of shape was the car in when you got it? Good. Yeah, good solid car? Oh yeah. Was it stock or was it hot rodded? It was just a body when I bought it. Right. Have nope. you always been a fan of the bubble tops, I guess? Oh yeah. Everybody first, is, right? My first car was a 62 Impala and I've just always been partial to them. And there it was in a magazine? Yep. What magazine is Super it? Super Chevy. Okay. Right. And here is a... Uh, a picture of it when I brought it home. Oh yeah, it was a solid car, but it needed it needed to be restored. Oh yeah. Man, a lot, dude. I love that. Man. And that roll bar runs all the way through the car and then back here to the front. It's got an eight-point roll cage in it. Oh, kid, what wheels are you running on? Uh, Budnick. They're uh, eights in the front and elevens in the rear. Eighteens and twenties. Yep, eighteens yep. and twenties. Real wood brakes, man, a whole lot. All the way around. All the way around. Man, dude, look at that. For sale. It can be bought. What are you asking for? $250,000. There you go. Ain't nobody fainting over that. That's what it costs to build one like this, man. Oh, I know. And the hood is not fiberglass, it's all steel hood. Who did that? One of my buddies in NASCAR. Uh, Mike Fox actually built, reskinned the whole top of the hood for me. All we used was a undercarriage. And then you got it open in the back, so it actually just sucks like a NASCAR. Up. Yeah. I used to work there. And That's I, what you said. I got a lot of NASCAR <laughs> That's abilities. What you said. Man, Billy, I like that car. What's the name of it? It's got to have a name. No. No. Uh, Street Thunder. Street Thunder. There you go. I like that. Anybody we need to give a shout out to for uh, helping you build the car or anything like that? Uh, the boy named, that painted it was named Mike Canner and uh, Mike Fox helped me do some of the metal work and Kenny Thompson also, uh, he built a chassis and an exhaust system for me. Man, it turned out beautiful, brother. I love it. Thank you. I'm going to do one more quick walk around. Thanks so much, Billy. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. Folks, there you go. You know, we love them bubble tops and that one is cool. I love the paint. I love, I just love it, man. The stance is right on it. 
The interior is cool. Man, that's cool, right? That's the Pigeon Forge Rod Run, brother. It's it's stepping up, I'm telling you. It's always brought in some nice quality cars, but you know, and here they are. I mean, the same cars you're gonna see at any of the big shows. World Wheels or Auto Ram or anything. I mean, you know, just very cool. And I don't want to get home. Man, look at that. I don't want to get back to the house and uh, pull up this video and then I didn't get you all a good walk around. So that's why I wanted to just take one more lap, right? Man, look at that car, right? Awesome, dude. Let me give you a shot of that too. So there you go, folks, from a Pigeon Forge Rod Run 2014, 62 bubble top Bel Air street machine, street rod, way cool car. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See you.